And now let's consider another argument. Determine whether the argument is valid or invalid. All rabbis are Jewish. Some Jews observe kosher dietary traditions. Therefore, some rabbis observe kosher dietary traditions. We'll begin with our first premise. All rabbis are Jewish. We'll designate a circle. We'll label it R for the set of rabbis. We'll note that all rabbis are Jewish, which means we need another circle enclosing that. And we'll label that J for Jews. Our second premise, some Jews observe kosher dietary traditions. Now, what we're going to need is another set standing for those who observe kosher dietary traditions. We know that we're going to end up having an overlap with the set of Jews in those two sets. We do know that it overlaps, but we don't know how much. So therefore, we're going to draw our set for those who observe kosher dietary traditions. We know there's going to be something in the intersection. Can we conclude that some rabbis observe kosher dietary traditions? The answer is no. We're not sure how far this overlap comes in. There's no guarantee that it comes in and overlaps with R. And therefore, we conclude that the argument as given is invalid.